No, it's that it's not uh, only this problem. A lot of times when we see people going for Hajj in Mecca, they get lost because they have no they have problem of communicating with a lot of people over there because of the foreign land and all that. And because of the health uh, situation, sometimes they didn't get the right attention. And when there is emergency, no one wants to take care of them. So this is something that we would like to see, how we can solve these cases. In Malaysia, alone about 45 cases every day. People have gone missing, and 800 people have gone to, I mean, go water and all that, but they didn't know where exactly they are. Uh, so what we did is that, what if we can provide a solution that can monitor their health, their safety, and also providing a peace of mind, especially to the travel agencies, to the uh, family members, and even to the individual themselves. So what we have is that we have a solution like this. You can see that in our book, we have a wearable that the pilgrims can wear, and we can monitor them, their health, and also their, their location. How do we monitor them? It's through a mobile app. This can be monitored by the family members, even back in Malaysia, or even through the travel agencies. And the travel agencies will have a dashboard that can monitor their pilgrims. And of course, if there is any emergency, they just press a button and they will go to SOS emergency system. And this will escalate to the right authorities who can actually find the pilgrims where they are, if there is a problem. And how we do that, the impact is that we want to do a cross a subsidization model whereby, uh, one, we can uh, like to have this harsh care, uh, underprivileged buildings who don't have the capacity, the money to, to use these services, they can have this. Another one is that because we are expanding to different markets, we want to have more channels, we like to employ uh, the unemployed individuals to help us. Uh, the market size is very big, very huge. 19 million for Umrah every year, 2.3 million hash every year, and it's going to increase every year to uh, 30 million for 2030. And we're looking at uh, a target market size in certain areas in certain geography and the top 10 countries. Uh, the business model is quite simple. It's either per trip basis when you go for Umrah or for Hajj, or you can buy outright purchase. We need to say that you can buy this and you can use this every time. Huh? So for overseas market, you can buy in volumes, or we have also a subsidized, well, oh, sorry, we have a license-based uh, business model. The way that we go to market in local, uh, in our country, I will work, uh, we were actually uh, assigning our uh, travel agencies at the channel, B2B. When we work with overseas, we work with telcos like NSS in Saudi, Mobili, and also uh, in Iraq, in Maldives, and IT companies. So the, the go-to-market strategy is huge, where we can go to uh, even the country's hub authorities or even the travel agencies. Uh, the racket market is very big, it's not only limited to hard, but it's also for, for senior citizens, uh, uh, outdoor sports, kids, tourists, and also employees. Uh, the way that we differentiate ourselves is full mobility, and we also provide an end-to-end -end solution, where others don't have that. Our journey is very long, we have been doing this for the last one and a half years in R&D. Uh, we have uh, now finished our beta trial, now we are working on commercial, where we have spent a lot, about one million dollar ringgit just to get this product out, and now we are having this uh, market going to market to other countries. The team, this is our team. The three co-founders are very, uh, very experienced co-founders, about eighty years of working experience, and we have the young uh, uh, team also over here. What we ask is usually not much because we already have a, a current channel. The way that we work with the travel agencies and hopefully the Hajj authorities. But what we want is that, can we have you know, uh, a donation or CSR for even a building which is underprivileged? They don't have the capability to purchase it, but we'd like to help them in the next Hajj trip. And because we want to expand the, the channels to, uh, you know, to get in touch with the rest of the, the individuals, we'd like to employ the unemployed uh, individuals as helpers. So that's it, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Muslim. And now on to the judges for a quick Q&A. Judges, do you have any questions? At the moment, it's about just, uh, we just launched in September. It's still less than 100 units. Uh, but we actually, what we, does, what we did is that we appoint a, refer, uh, we appoint a sales partner other countries, so that's what you see in other countries like Maldives, Saudi, and also Indonesia. So we have appointed them as our own service partner. Thank you. And 
if I understand correctly, is it both on a planned basis as well as an outright purchase, or is it right now outright purchase? Uh, we have two plans. Okay. Uh, the initial model is really for rental purposes, for birthday basis, either Umrah for two weeks, Hajj for two months. But we also get requests that they want to have outright purchase, where they want to use it even after they went to go back, they want to use it. So now we have another model. At the moment, we are trying to help the the the, the referral. Uh, at the moment, we need to have more channels that we can go out to market to help the unemployed individual. So uh, this is how we measure that so that we can help the job the market. Uh, so we have a SOS emergency system, the system that we built. The moment you press a button, uh, the, the system which we assign to, for example, uh, travel agency, individual travel agency, they have their own building. So the manager that they will receive that. If a Hajj authorities, for example, like Tabo Haji, Tabo Haji will receive that. In other countries, they have their own people who actually receive any complaints when there is missing people. So it will automatically send to that system. And the system will escalate this uh, to their own people, the big force, who said, okay, you take care of this individual. Because this in dual unit and as well. I mean, sick people, and also if there is anything that they need help, for example, their, their health is getting bad, they need help, so they can press a button. Any emergency? <coughs> Any more questions, judges? Are we good? All right, thank you, Dr. Masan.